Hello guys. Today, we're diving into something that's not only exciting, but also a massive leap forward for NEO and the future of autonomous driving technology. If you've been following the EV industry closely, you already know that NEO isn't just another electric vehicle company. It's a brand that has been pushing boundaries in innovation, engineering, and artificial intelligence. But what's truly making headlines right now is NEO's own in-house developed chip, the Shenji NX9030 won a game-changing component that's redefining what's possible in self-driving technology. Now, most of you might have already heard about this chip, but today we're going to explore what makes it so powerful, how it's positioning NEO far ahead of its competitors, and why recent government approval in China has just given NEO an enormous advantage in the race toward full autonomous driving. So, let's get started. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. The Shenji NX9031 is NEO's proprietary autonomous driving chip, designed and developed entirely in-house. This is a huge deal because, until now, most automakers, especially Chinese EV companies, have relied on foreign suppliers like NVIDIA for their high-performance computing chips. But NEO decided to break that dependency and build something that not only meets but far exceeds the industry standard. The first NEO model to feature the Shenji NX9031 is the ET9, a car that represents the next generation of intelligent driving. The ET9 doesn't just include one of these chips, it actually carries two NX9031 chips, giving it a combined computing power of over 2K tops tera operations per second. To put that into perspective, a single NX9031 chip delivers 1028 tops, which is more than four times the computing capacity of NVIDIA's Orin X chip, which NEO previously used in its vehicles. Before this new chip, NEO was using NVIDIA's Orin X, which offered around 250 tops per unit. That was impressive at the time, but NEO's internal team has now taken things to a completely new level. The Shenji NX9031 doesn't just represent more power, it represents greater control over hardware, faster processing for real-time data, and optimized efficiency for AI decision-making on the road. This is the foundation that will allow NEO to achieve true Level 4 and Level 5 autonomous driving in the future. And it looks like that future might be coming sooner than many people expected. Recently, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology MIIT, along with the Ministry of Public Security and other key departments, announced the first batch of car models approved to pilot Level 3 autonomous driving systems. This is a major milestone because it marks the transition from semi-autonomous systems to vehicles that can take full control under specific conditions without requiring constant human supervision. On this official list, one name stood out NEO. Out of the so-called Chinese EV trio NEO, Li Auto, and Xpeng, NEO was the only company to appear in this first group of approved automakers. That's a major validation of its technological leadership. Other names on the list included major automakers like Churi, Beijing Automotive, Chang'an, Dengfeng, BYD, and GSC. However, What's fascinating is the difference in the chips that these companies are using to power their autonomous systems. For instance, Churi, Beijing, Chang'an, and Dinfeng are all relying on the 610 Pro chip, which is considerably less advanced than NEO's NX9031. BYD, on the other hand, is still using two NVIDIA Orin chips, which together provide roughly the same performance as one-fourth of NEO's new setup. GSE's models use the C01 chip, which is an improvement over older systems, but still nowhere near the level of NEO's computing capability. This comparison clearly shows that NEO's autonomous driving architecture is several steps ahead. The fact that NEO's latest cars are capable of over 1K tops per chip puts them in a league of their own. This computing power isn't just a vanity metric, it directly translates into smoother, safer, and smarter driving experiences. It allows the vehicle to process massive amounts of real-world data, recognize objects faster, make predictive driving decisions, and respond instantly to changing road conditions. 
One of the most mind-blowing demonstrations of this technology came during the launch of the new ES8. NEO showcased an incredible feature that truly highlighted the power of its system. Imagine arriving at a crowded parking lot, stepping out of your car, and then watching as your vehicle automatically finds an open spot, parks itself perfectly, and even repositions if needed to avoid blocking traffic. When you return later, your car is ready and waiting in a convenient location. That's not just smart, it's revolutionary. This level of autonomy is made possible by the seamless integration of the NX9031 chip with NEO's proprietary NEO World model, which serves as the intelligent brain of the car. This system allows the vehicle to map its environment, recognize potential hazards, and interact intelligently with both static and dynamic elements around it. And the fact that it's all developed internally by NEO gives them complete control over updates, data security, and continuous improvement. The NEO World model, mentioned in China's approval documents, is what truly sets NEO apart. It's not just another driving assistance system, it's a self-evolving platform that continuously learns from every mile driven. It processes real-world driving data, refines its algorithms, and updates the driving behavior across the entire fleet, creating a constantly improving network of intelligence. This means every NEO on the road contributes to making all NEO vehicles smarter. It's a kind of shared intelligence that's comparable to Tesla's approach, but in some areas, NEO's execution appears even more advanced. And there's more NEO's CEO, William Lee, has already teased that a major new feature based on the NEO World model is coming this November. While details haven't been fully revealed, insiders speculate it could include autonomous battery swapping allowing cars to drive themselves to nearby NEO stations, perform a swap, and return all without the driver's presence. Others believe it might be a full hands-free autonomous driving update, bringing NEO one step closer to true level 4 autonomy. Whatever it turns out to be, one thing is certain it's going to be a major leap in intelligent mobility. When you compare NEO's progress to other EV manufacturers, the difference becomes even clearer. While companies like Xpeng are developing their own chips like the Turing 720A with 720 tops of computing power, they're still playing catch-up. NEO's NX9031 surpasses that by a large margin, and the real-world capabilities already demonstrated put them ahead in both performance and reliability. This leadership position didn't happen overnight. It's the result of massive R&D investment, quarter after quarter, as NEO continues to prioritize innovation over short-term profits. The company's relentless commitment to building core technologies from chips and software to infrastructure and user experience has positioned it among the global leaders in smart mobility. According to the Gartner Global Automotive Software Index 2025, NEO ranked second in the world, just 2.5% behind Tesla. That's an astonishing achievement considering Tesla's years of head start in autonomous technology. It shows that NEO is not only catching up fast, it's actually challenging Tesla in the most critical areas of AI-driven mobility. So, what does all of this mean for NEO and the future of smart vehicles? Simply put, NEO's Shenji NX9031 chip represents the next chapter in the evolution of autonomous driving. By developing its own high-performance computing platform, NEO has broken free from reliance on third-party suppliers and secured a powerful technological advantage that others will struggle to match. Being one of the few automakers on the official Level 3 approval list only reinforces how advanced their technology already is. Combined with the intelligence of the NEO world model, this system is paving the way for vehicles that not only drive themselves but also learn, adapt, and improve over time. And as November approaches, all eyes will be on NEO to see what new breakthrough feature they unveil. Whether it's autonomous battery swapping, fully self-driving capability, or something entirely new. One thing is clear NEO's vision for the future of mobility is unfolding faster than anyone expected. The company isn't just building cars, it's building intelligent systems on wheels. With the Shenji NX9031 at its core, NEO is redefining what it means to drive, and perhaps more importantly, 
what it means to trust your car as a true intelligent companion. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.